Hey, what's that you got riding on you? You got a monkey on your back? Hey, you got a monkey on your back? Yeah? Oh! Oh! Why you hurt me? Why you hurt me so? Okay, that's enough. And now we're going to the local farmer's market. I'm gonna try to find some uh, raw milk. I've always uh, kind of wanted to try it. I know some people think that it has some um, dangers because of some um, foodborne illnesses, I guess. But um, I'm looking to uh, give it a try for its health benefits. That I've read about. Cedar City is a town that is in the southwest corner of Utah. It's a little over four hours, I think, from Moab, west by southwest. And just across the border is Vegas, which is about two hours away. Which we'll be going to, I believe, this Friday. It's supposed to be in the 70s. And it should be climbable since um, I don't think it's snowed there like it snowed here. So we're looking at uh, blue skies, a few clouds. Should be clear, at least in the 70s. Who knows, up against the rock it's usually 10 degrees warmer. So it'll probably be, probably be in the 80s against the rocks. At least I can only hope. Man, your toes must be freezing! Oh, I know mine are. <laughs> nice big welcome sign. This is part of Cedar City, a few blocks down from Ryan's place. You know, travel isn't all fun and games. Definitely have to work with logistics and... One unexpected problem, and some people would say it's not a problem, is that uh, unstructured time. It's not like you have to go to work and then get off work. And then, you know, not all the hours of your day are spoken for. And so you have blocks where blocks of time where it's unstructured. You can do what you want. And if it's not logistics related, a lot of times your time is your own. But it, I believe it's helpful to create structure where there is no structure. And one of the best ways is to be creative. I think that's why a lot of um, vloggers and bloggers, Instagrammers, Go towards creativity. You know, taking photos, making videos, or writing, or even drawing. I think creativity is one of the best things you can do when you are confronted with unstructured time. And when you're traveling, the benefit is, is that you record your journeys. You record it in a way that um, allows you to share your experiences with others, but also so that you can. Uh, Look back on it and um, just remember what you've what you've experienced. Because sometimes, especially when I come back home to Colorado, I forget what I did. It's as if I lived a dream, and I can't remember that I've been to all these different countries. But looking back at my videos and photos, I go, "Oh yeah, I remember that." you get a chance to re-experience what you experienced once before. In a way, you're traveling all over again. The other thing about Cedar City is that it's about an hour and a half away from Bryce Canyon, and also about a little over an hour away from Zion National Park. This must be the main sort of uh, city block. Kind of uh, old-timey 
brick buildings. A little tiny little theater at the end there. Right next to the Wall Wells Fargo. <laughs> More like the force goes to sleep. There's some old posters. I had to change the signs in these guys, and I also I was almost killed by a vowel. Well, there's the farmer's market. I don't see any doors open, so it's probably closed. <laughs> oh well. Gave it a shot. Yeah, there's a truck that says farmer's market on the side. Probably just uh, way too cold for the farmer's market. It was a big snowy day, so probably they thought no one was going to come. Well, they were wrong, but... Oh well. Supposedly there's a um, a market around here, not a market, but a farm where I can try some raw milk. So, or I might try the natural food store around here and see. Who knows? I think it's legal in Utah, which wouldn't surprise me. So anyway, that was the adventure of the day. You're around my ass. Southern Utah University, SUU. Wait. So, I've been curious about trying raw milk. I hear it has some um, health benefits because of the vitamins um, that aren't destroyed by heat processing or homogenization or pasteurization. I've been trying to find stores around here, but I couldn't find it. So I'm going to try um, this place called Red Redmond. I think it's Redmond Heritage Farms, and apparently they sell raw milk among other things. So I'm going to check it out because uh, it's illegal to sell it in Colorado, but apparently here in Utah, it's uh, it's legal. It gets state inspected. So we're going to go and check it out. Say hello, say hello. That's good enough. So it looks like the Redmond one was about 45 minutes away. This one is the Finney Farm. They also sell raw milk, so we'll check it out. You're open. All right, so I bought this raw milk and from the Finney Farm, which is interesting. It has this warning. Raw milk, no matter how carefully produced, may be unsafe. But you can see it's state inspected. And it's um, RBST free. Hmm, interesting. All right, got some milk here, raw milk. It's slightly yellowish, actually. Um, this is illegal in Colorado, I think because of foodborne illnesses. But um, I've heard fantastic things about raw milk, that it's healing. It has um, uh, multiple vitamins, like D3, and I forget the rest. I'll list them somewhere around here. Um, let's give it a try. Tastes like milk. <laughs> it might have um, has some sort of taste that I can't quite put my finger on. It's um, kind of subtle. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe more creamy, more grassy. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's grass-fed um, milk, so grass-fed cows. Now I've heard on um, some forums you shouldn't eat like meat and have milk at the same time. For some reason they interfere with each other a little bit or makes it harder to digest. 
and I ate uh, some hamburger, I don't know, a couple of hours ago. So this should be fine. I'm going to drink the rest of this and then uh, we'll see how I feel. So this milk, I also got some smoky, oh I'm sorry, squeaky, squeaky cheese, cheddar cheese curds that they also produce. And I also got some cream top yogurt. And the people selling to me, I mean, they were wearing the bonnets and stuff. I, I didn't want to ask them, I wanted to ask them, but I didn't ask them if they were Mormon or if they're Quaker or Shakers or what. I, I imagine they're Mormon. I mean, I'm in Utah. But, um, yeah. Pretty pure, straight from the cow stuff. And check it out. All right, drink that glass of milk. Now I'm going to try the um, squeaky cheese curds, cheddar flavor. And they look basically to me like. Um, a cottage cheese, but supersized, and this is the kind of orangey, more cheddary stuff. Good. It's like the um, well, the Wisconsin cheese curds that I've had before. Tastes like cheese curds. Pretty good. Unlike the raw milk, these are pasteurized cultured milk. It has milk, sea salt coloring, and vegetable rennet, which I find interesting because, um, you know, it's a dairy farm. I would imagine they had um, animal rennet, but it's actually made with um, vegetable rennet. Well, there you go. Had some cheese, raw milk. I'm going to try the yogurt later, but... Yeah, if you're in Utah, give raw milk a try. What the heck? My Sterilite. These sort of uh, plastic um, containers. They have the uh, simple latches. And I'm going with more of a file folder storage. It has a hinge at the bottom, and so the lid stays attached, and then it you just attach it on one side, it's more secure. And also this gives a little ledge at the bottom. So I'm gonna replace all of my um, storage with these guys. I think it'll be just better. And the thing with these um, stir lights, I mean they work, but the lid is... The lids are, tend to come off since they're not attached. Yeah, what a zoo. Okay, I'm gonna organize this place. But anyway, I'll show you what the finished result is later. So instead of these uh, Sterilite boxes that used to be up on the shelf here, I replaced them with these um, more of like office boxes. But there's a handle here that's more secure and then it's hinged that's hinged all across the length of it and so I essentially did the same thing like the shelving thing didn't really work there's a so there's a lot of like wasted space above it made it easier to just uh, stack them above it with these hooks sometimes it's easier sometimes it's better just to be able to see things but making it more secure here so when I'm traveling, and then I added hooks as I wanted to, just to hang hats or, you know, whatever. So we'll see how um, that works for a while. 